Today we're going to cover what both bi-wiring and bi-amping are, and how to do it. If your speaker has two sets of binding posts, it can be either bi-wired or bi-amped. Now what's the purpose of the two binding posts? Well, one set of binding posts covers one driver, or drivers, and the other set of binding posts covers the other driver, or drivers, allowing the drivers to be powered separately, resulting in a cleaner sound. Now when the speaker arrives at your doorstep, there will be a bridge connecting the two terminals. When this bridge is connecting the two terminals, you can use one set of speaker wire to power all drivers in the speaker. When you remove that bridge, you can then power them separately by, by amping. When you buy wire a speaker, you run two sets of wire from one set of outputs on your receiver. One set goes to one set of binding posts on the speaker, and one set goes to the other binding posts. To buy amp a speaker, you're using two sets of outputs on your receiver to power one speaker. One set of speaker wire connects to one set of binding posts, and one set of speaker wire connects to the other binding posts. When it comes to buy amping, you can also use two separate amplifiers to power one speaker. To buy wire speaker, make sure that the entire system is powered off. Remove the bridges from the speaker's binding posts. Get two sets of speaker wires. On the receiver, connect two sets of wires to the left channel out outputs. Connect one set of these wires to one set of binding posts on the left channel speaker. And the other set of speaker wire to that other set of binding posts on the left channel speaker, making sure that polarity is correct. Repeat these steps on the other channels. To buy amp a speaker, you will need to borrow an unused channel. For example, if you were to buy amp your front left and front right, you will use both the front left and front right channel outputs on your receiver, as well as another set of unused channels, such as the surround left or surround right. This is why it's important to consider the number of channels when buying a receiver. If you have a 5.1 setup, for example, and are using all five channels, you will not be able to buy amp. If you have a 7.1 receiver and a 5.1 setup, you will be able to buy amp because you will have those two unused channels that you can use. And again, you can also use two separate amplifiers to do this. But to buy amp a speaker using your receiver, make sure that the system is off. Remove the bridges on the speaker's binding posts. Connect one output on your receiver, such as the front left channel, to one set of binding posts on the front left channel speaker. Connect the other output on the receiver, such as your back left channel, to the other set of binding posts on your front left channel speaker. Configure your receiver to buy amp. Every receiver is different, so we can't give you the exact steps. Check your receiver's manual to learn the best way to do this. If you found this video helpful, click one of the videos that are popping up on your screen right now. And as always, thank you very much for watching.